Hello, my name is Emmy. I'm studying Spanish and you know what this video is about because it says on the title. Here's the structure of this video. First, before I even start naming all the artists and the songs that I like, I'm first gonna share you my tips on how to find good music. And then I'm gonna go on and list a bunch of artists that I love. And then on the third part, I'm just gonna name drop some songs that I really don't know a lot about the artist at all, but I just know this one song and I listen to it a lot. Let's try and make this video like five minutes or something. First, how to find good music that's in your taste. If you're trying to just get into Spanish music and you have no idea where to start from, here's what I recommend you to do. Number one, go to the charts of specifically Spanish speaking areas. Go to the charts of Spain, go to the charts of Mexico. Well, once you go to those charts, you can see what is popular right now in those Spanish speaking countries. But if you're too cool for mainstream music and you're the type of person who's like, the general public has no taste, then I'll recommend you to do other stuff. Ask your Spanish speaker friend for recommendations. And if you don't have a lot of Spanish speakers around, you, then what I recommend you to do is go on YouTube and find videos like this, like what I'm making. Watch videos about people sharing their favorite songs. And there are two types of these videos. One, best songs to learn Spanish type of stuff. Those like learner friendly type of ones. But the second type is the one that I recommend. Type in, in Spanish something like my favorite song, mis canciones favoritas or mis canciones favoritas del momento. And then all these videos of Spanish native speakers, people your age but in a Spanish speaking country would be talking about their favorite songs. And those videos are never just like the top 10 songs at the moment, you know? You know what I'm saying? So voila, take advantage of it. It's just always better to get songs recommended by a real person. So that's the first step, right? The next step is to get the algorithm to recommend you good songs. I think there's a couple of ways to do that. One, make a playlist just with your favorite Spanish songs and go to the radio below it. And that's where you would find great songs that you probably wouldn't have discovered before. So that's one. Another one is you can go to a song radio. If there's a specific song that you really like and you wanna listen to that similar kind of vibe or genre, then you can go to the radio of the song and then Spotify would just come up with a whole list of songs that have the same type of vibe. And another tip is go to to the profile of your favorite artist. Sometimes, not everybody, but sometimes they would have a playlist that the artist made of all the songs that are their favorites or like songs that they were influenced by. Those playlists are always really good. So now is the time that well, I've been waiting for it, and I'll be recommending you some of my personal favorites. I'm just gonna start with my favorite artist, which is Setangana. He is so good. I think he's from Madrid, and his music. I love the direction that he's going into right now. He just came out with a new album, literally like a couple weeks ago. It has influences and inspirations from all these different types of Spanish and Latin traditional music. I love how he's blending in all these traditional influences with like a very modern beat. His music, His music makes, makes me want to become, become Spanish, Spanish when I grow up. So I'll just name drop a couple of my favorite songs. Tu me dejaste de querer is like a huge single right now. Tu me dejaste de querer cuando te necesitaba. Enduro, Nunca Estoy, Ingobernable. One of my favorite songs from his new album is called Cambia. Love that song. Cambia. Antes de Morirme and Un Veneno. Un Veneno is, is amazing. I love that song. It's a work in progress. Since we talked about Setangana, I'm gonna talk about Rosalia next. I mean, Rosalia, you've probably heard of her before, but I'm still gonna talk about her because her music is amazing. <laughs> also from Spain, she has a lot of influences by flamenco and all these traditional sounds, and her voice is beautiful, it's out of this world. My favorite songs of Rosalia is Croque, Dolorme, Malamente, Di Mi Nombre, Anque Este Noche, Si Tus Pieras Compañero, the next artist I want to recommend is Jorge Drexler. He's from Uruguay. I love his music. I love the guitar in his songs. I love his voice. He always comes out with really solid songs and I have a bunch to recommend. My favorite at the moment is a song called Inoportuna. Otherwise, Todo se transforma, Sanar, Telefonía, Las transeuntes, Salva Pantallas, Echo. Okay, let's talk about all the Mexicans. Natalia Laforcade. I think she's amazing. She has a beautiful voice. Her music is also kind of a mixture of like more traditional sounds with pop elements as well. And I think it's beautiful. I love her music. Some of my favorites are Para Que Sufrir, Hasta La Raiz, Amor De Mis Amores. It's such a cute song. I also love her cover of a song called Aventurera. I also like Mi Tierra Veracruzana, which makes me want to go to Veracruz. Ah, la 
let's talk about Caloncho. His songs are very like a relaxed, we're at a nice beach kind of vibe. Songs that are like Brio Mio, Luna Completa, Besame Morenita, such a cute song, and Sensei because that is Japanese and of course I had to include the song in the list. Little Jesus. They're more of like an alternative rock type artist. I really like Azul, Primavera 2020, Te Cueme, Niña Bien. Ah, next we're gonna talk about Siddhartha. Me hace falta was one of my very first favorite Spanish songs. I love a song called Loco. Película, Respiro, I like, and A Veces el Tiempo. Very cool, very cool. Um, next, should I talk about Rich Vagos? I love a song called Dibujame. They're more of a hip hop R&B type of music. I love Si Preguntan Por Mi and Un Bato Como Yo. Ah, oh, Monsieur Ferdinand. I love Monsieur Ferdinand. Watch their Tiny Desk concert. Their Tiny Desk concert is so good. It's poetry. Remember when I said I wanted to be Spanish when I grew up? No, I want to be Colombian when I grow up. I don't even really listen to their songs, but that Tiny Desk concert I've watched a couple of times already. Some songs that I like are like Bailar Contigo and Mi Libertad. And next I'm gonna talk about a singer called El Canca. I think he's from Spain. He has really cool songs. I love songs like Canela en Rama. Refan. Okay, the next artist is called Paul Granch, or I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. He's half Spanish and half French. And what I really love about him is that he mixes Spanish and French in his songs. And because I used to do French, that that hits me. So if you're also in that very specific niche of knowing or liking both French and Spanish, then he's for you. Some of my favorite songs are Late, Tengo Que Calmarme, Desastre, and Perdón Por Las Horas. Very recently, I started listening to a guy called Sebastián Cortés. Um, I think he's Spanish. I'm not entirely sure. He makes really chill music. It feels very trendy, but I really like it. Some of my favorites are La Posada, Me Da La Vida, and Te La Sudo. Okay, next I'll just talk about some one-off type of songs. Echa Pa' Mi by Bosa, Porfa Remix with a bunch of people, Todo Cambio by Camila. Such a good song. It feels so 2000s and I love it. Cantando by Bio, Violadores del Verso and Tu Falta de Querer by Mon Laferte. And I should definitely listen to more of her songs. She's very good. And yes, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have more artists or songs that you recommend, please tell me in the comments section. I'm always looking for new music. When I decided to make this video, I created a whole playlist of the songs I wanted to talk about. So I'll link that in the description if you want to check it out. Thank you so much for watching.